Hello, welcome. I'm currently 29 weeks pregnant, my second child. As long as this um, flow practice is feeling good for you, then it's safe to do any trimester. Okay, so we'll begin in a table position. Spread the fingers wide. Take the hands slightly out in front of the shoulders. I have a blanket under my knees, so if you're on a hard surface, you may want some padding under your knees. And begin to circle the hips. Let this be an opportunity to begin to notice the breath. In and out of the nose. A gentle ocean sound with the throat. Continue to spread the fingers wide. And then take those movements the other direction. Beautiful movements to, as you're approaching labor or in labor, this can help relieve some back pressure. It can help the baby get into a nice position. And it helps us open up our hips as well. It can be relieving for the hips. And then come back to the middle. Keep the fingers spreading wide. Put some weight in the pads of your fingers. We'll take a half dog here. So widen the knees as much as you need to. Move your seat back. Okay, and I have to walk my knees off the blanket. You may want to reposition your blanket. Because we're trying to push the hips back enough to where our ears get in between the arms. We get this nice length in our spine. Try to keep your arms straight. The thumbs, index fingers heavy. And then hug baby up a little bit. We'll take another breath here. And then we'll walk the knees back up. Curl the toes under. Lift the knees for dog pose. I'll slowly reach one heel back with the opposite knee bent. And then reach the opposite heel back. Walk your feet out as wide as your mat. Bend the knees. Push your chest back. Push your hips back. Really feel the fingers spreading wide. And let's walk the hands back towards the feet. Bring the elbows up to the knees. Take a seat. Keep your feet parallel here. Big toe ball mounds heavy and then look forward. When you're ready, stand up. Roll the palms up. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, hands to heart. Big breath in. Roll the palms up. Reach up. I'll face you so you can see me. Take the right hand around the left wrist. Inhale, reach up and over to the right. Inhale, come on up to switch. Up and over to the left. Inhale, come on up. Feet as wide as the mat. Bring the elbows to the knees. Keep the feet parallel. Reach your bottom back and we're climbing back up the mat into dog pose. Spread out those fingers nice and wide. Lengthen your spine. So bend the knees so that you're not rounding your back here and compressing in the, the baby belly region. We want bent knees. Push the hips back. And then some of us may need to kind of draw our babies up. And now bring the knees down. We're taking a baby camel. So we'll walk up the knees, the thighs. Shrug the shoulders up, 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 up. Roll the shoulders back and then bring the hands to hips, thumbs to sacrum. Now bring the chin down. Lift the chest up and just squeeze the shoulders straight back. We're not interested in bending way back in pregnancy. Think more up. Tuck your bottom. And then we'll come on down. Hands to floor. Lift the knees back up. Push back, full breath. Okay. 
Walk the feet as wide as your mat. Hands walk back. Elbows to knees, make sure the feet are still parallel, not spinning out. And as you're ready, look up. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, hands to heart. We'll keep going. Inhale, palms roll up, reach up. Exhale, elbows to knees, seat back. Ball mounds heavy. Walk forward into a nice long Dog pose, burst the fingers open, full breath. And then lower the knees down under the hips. We're rolling back up to baby camel, lift the shoulders up, 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 up. We squeeze back, chin down, chest up, bottom tucks, full breath. And we're coming back. Down, fingers spreading wide to dog pose. Full conscious breath. Now this time, either walk the hands back again towards the feet, if that's a good option for you, or try walking your feet up halfway. Walk the hands back halfway, elbows to knees, and when you're ready, stand up, reach up. And heels to heart. So either start from the back of your mat and walk forward again, or walk on up to the top of your mat. We'll inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, elbows to knees. So if you're at the top of your mat, you're folding. You may need your block or two here. And then we're walking back to dog pose. Okay, or you started at the back of your mat and you're walking forward. Bring the knees down. Roll up to baby cam. Shoulders lift up. Squeeze back. Lift the chest up towards the chin. Full breath. And at the end of your exhale, place the hands down. Push back to dog pose. Nice full breath. In your choice, either walk the hands all the way back to the feet or walk the feet up a little bit. Walk the hands back, elbows to knees. When you're ready, look up, stand up. Exhale, hands to heart. Hands to heart, hands to baby. Take a conscious breath. And we'll walk up to the top of your mat. Take the feet as wide as the mat. If you have a block or two here, have it handy. It's nice for what we're about to do, okay? And we'll plant the feet, roll the palms up, inhale, reach up. Exhale, bend the knees and fold. Either fingertips to the floor or place your block in between your feet, okay? I like two blocks here. We're gonna step in as many steps as you need, left foot way back into a lunge. So when I get there, my right knee's over the ankle and I'm gonna drop the back knee down. I'm pushing the front foot down, spreading the toes, and my hands are right in line with my inner ankle and they're on these blocks right now. And I'll take a breath to lift the chest. And then bring the right knee back. And we're coming in to dog pose. Nice full breath. And then lower the knees down. We'll walk the hands to the right to swing the left foot forward. Ankle under the knee. I'm going to move my block or two back. I'm pushing down through that inner left foot and lift the chest and the top of the head for a breath. And then draw the back knee off the floor, spring off of the back foot, and we'll fold. Hands to knees, sit down, reach up. Exhale, hands to heart. We'll do the second half. Inhale, reach up. 
Exhale, fold down to fingertips or block. We're taking our right foot back first this time. Step way, way back so that the left knee is right over the ankle. Back knee down. I'm trying to roll this right hip forward. Take a breath. And bring the left knee back and come in to dog pose. One full breath. And then lower the knees. Walk the hands to the right. The left, I mean, bring the right foot forward, ankle under the knee. Walk your blocks back. Try to roll your left hip forward and then reach up through the top of the head for a breath. And then lift up. The back knee, spring forward, hands to knees, look up and reach up. Exhale, hands to heart. So we'll do a few more. We'll keep adding variations here if you'd like. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold. Left foot back first. This time, either lower the back knee down or keep it squeezing up. Roll that left hip down and reach the crown of the head forward for a breath. So we don't want to be sagging the hips way down here. So kind of stick your, your tail up a little bit so we have some buoyancy through the hips. And then we're either lowering the knees down and going to dog pose or we're stepping that right foot straight back for a full breath. And then lower the knees down. Let's take the left foot forward. Either leave the back knee down or lift it up. So there's a little lightness through the hips. We're squeezing the back leg straight and reaching the crown of the head forward for a breath. And then spring off of the back foot, hands to hips, and come all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart. Second half, inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold. Right foot back, and as many steps as you need, back knee up or down. Try to roll your right hip down and lengthen through the top of your head. And then either drop the knees to step back to dog or swing that left leg back. Fingers spread wide. Full breath. Now this time, either lower the knees like you did last time or you may be just fine swinging that right leg all the way up and around. Okay. Roll the left hip down. Reach the crown of your head forward for a full breath. And then spring off of the back foot. Pull hands to knees and stand all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart. One more. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, full. Left foot back, back knee up or down. Roll the left hip down, full breath. Dog pose. Go back how you like, one full breath. And then left foot up, either dropping the knees or bringing that foot forward. Back knee up or down, roll the right hip down, full breath. Bring off of the back foot and fold. Hands to knees, look up all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale up. Exhale, fold. Right foot back. You take your pick, full breath. Dog pose. And then 
Bring that right leg back up, however you like to get it there. Nice full breath. And spring off of the back foot. Fold hands to knees. Look up, come all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart. Hand to heart, hand to baby. Little micro bend in the knees, tuck in the seat, take a full breath, let your hips sway a little bit side to side. Notice how you feel so far. Beautiful, and then open your eyes if they're closed. Turn sideways on your mat. Take your, we can move the blanket now if it's there. Take your feet as wide as you comfortably can. So it won't be as wide as it was before you were pregnant. Parallel your feet, spread the toes, push the feet down, let's roll the palms up. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, sweep the arms, hands to hips. We'll spin the right foot out. We roughly have our heel lined to the back arch. Bend the right knee, bring the forearm to thigh, and we'll sweep the left arm down and up by the ear. Let your chest roll open. We'll take some big arm circles up to the ceiling and back down. Two more. Your back leg is strong and straight. And this time, let's keep the arm up by the ear, elbow bent or straight. Push the left foot down and kind of roll your chest open. Lean back for a breath. And with a big inhale, come on up. We'll take the other side. Right foot in, left foot up. Roll the shoulders back. Bend the left knee, forearm to thigh. Sweep the right arm down and up by the ear. Let the chest roll open. And take about three arm circles here. And on this last time, keep the arm up by the ear, elbow either bent or straight. Press the back foot down, roll the heart open, lean back a little bit, stretch. And with a big inhale, come on up. Turn the feet back to parallel. Bend your knees, hands to knees, move your seat back. Either bring your fingertips to the floor. Maybe you're using one block under the hand, or maybe you're using a block under each shoulder, any height. We're gonna keep moving our hip creases back in line with the heels, keeping the feet heavy, but now walk your hands or blocks out as far as you can. Hug baby up a little bit. Spread your toes and push your feet against the floor. Keep the hip creases in line with the heels. We'll take another two breaths. And then gently walk your hands and blocks back. Look forward. Heel toe the feet in. Now we're going to take one of our blocks. Let's go medium height in between the knees. Okay, we're going to keep our feet parallel here. Okay, toes spreading. Big toe ball mounds heavy. And then take a seat. We're squeezing this block. You can keep hands to hips, shoulders rolling back. We want to make sure we're not sticking our bottom way out. So tuck the the bottom a little bit. Keep lifting the chest a little bit. Just going to hold it about three more breaths. So you may keep your hands where they are, or maybe they're reaching forward or up. Squeeze that block for three. 
Nice long exhales too. One more breath. And we'll inhale, stand up, reach up, and relax the arms down. Beautiful. Take your block. We're taking a squat. So now spend the feet out. You can sit on your block or two. Find a good height where you feel like you can keep your feet flat. Your bottom is not tucking under. You feel like you can swing your tail back. If you feel like your bottom is tucking and your back is rounding, then get more height underneath you. Another way you can know is if we're about to do some pelvic floor exercises, if you can only squeeze your anus up, then get more height because we want to tip your pelvis forward to get a little more towards that um, more frontal part of the pelvic floor. Okay? Sit up tall. As we inhale, relax the belly, relax through the, um, the vaginal area of the, the pelvic floor. And as we exhale, let's squeeze that portion up. Squeeze it up, 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 up. Okay, and we'll keep going. Inhale, let it relax. Or imagine three floors of elevators. You're lowering down to that bottom level. And then exhale, slowly lift the engagement up to three floors. So you're squeezing right, right in the, the genital region. Inhale, lower back down to that basement level. Exhale, squeeze the engagement up. Okay, so kind of, it's kind of a kegel, but we're relaxing. The relaxation part is just as important as the engagement part. Okay, and it's not only just relaxing and engaging, it's also engaging um, the full process involved of every step, every stage of engagement, and every stage of down, back down to relaxation. Okay, let's go a few more. Take three more. When you're done with that, Last one, and gently come out of your squat. Let's sit up on a little bit of height, maybe two blankets or um, some pillows or something, whatever you have, but even a bolster is good. So we're going for that neutral pelvis, slightly forward of the sitting bones. Untuck your seat. Okay, bring your left leg forward and slide something under, especially if you're on height. Slide something under the knee so it doesn't lock out. Lock, pillows, blankets. And then flex the right ankle. Bring the ankle over the knee, okay? You may need to keep your hands back, okay? If, you're, if that's where you are, stay there and breathe. Keep lifting up through the spine. You may be able to sit up and kind of push the fingertips into the floor. Okay, maybe full fire log is an option for you. You're rolling to your left and swinging the left foot back. Notice I'm flexing both ankles. And since I'm on height, I need to put height under that knee as well. Okay, so very active ankles. I'm pulling the flesh of my seat out a little bit. And I'm going to sit up as tall as I can. I'm trying to not let my pelvis tip back. I'm trying to lift it up. Okay, so we're sitting up tall. Some of you may be 
folding forward. You may want to close your eyes or softly gaze at something. Allow yourself to, to merge in with your breath. the point in practice where exhales that more calming restful phase of our breath signaling to our body that it's okay to begin to wind down to rest relax so allow observe as your exhales get longer reaching their finish Inhale, sit up tall, lean back, undo your legs, draw your kneecaps up for a moment, give your legs a little shake, and take the other side, put something under the right knee if you're up on height, flex the left ankle, that also helps keep the ankle strong, it helps protect your knee, so we're either walking our hands back and staying here. Maybe you're sitting up and kind of pushing the fingertips against the floor to lengthen up as much as you can out of the low back. Maybe you're moving towards that fire log, so your shins are like the fire logs. So we're swinging the right foot back. I'm keeping both ankles flexed. So if this feels like too much, then come out of it. Okay, pull the seat out. Sit up as tall as you can. We're trying to spread the sitting bones, spread the seat out as wide as you can. And then go to that place of internal focus, riding those waves of your breath. out again we'll take it just five or so breaths in a forward fold so take the feet just as wide as you need you may be sitting up tall for this fold flexing the ankles or maybe you're coming forward some amount maybe you're resting your head on some blocks wherever you are be here about five more slow deep breaths your next inhale gently sit on up and we'll set up for a rest okay so either rest on your side with something like a bolster or pillows lined up between your your knees and ankles 
Okay, or if you have a bolster or some couch cushions, you can incline the bolster up. One block is fine, that works. Okay, if you have two, then it makes it a little more sturdy and you can incline it even more. We'll put something here to roll up under the head. You'll okay, have something for each arm. It can be a pillow or more blankets. And then something for each leg. So I'm going to get another blanket. Okay, and then sit yourself in front of that bolster. We'll lean back and position whatever you have, your blankets, your pillows, so that they're scooched up under your hips and ankles. So as you open the knees, you're very supported. You're not feeling any kind of a stretch. It's very subtle. Roll, put a little roll under the neck. So you have just lightest traction of your neck and then something for your arms so your arms are not just dangling down give yourself a nice big breath full body with your baby and exhale through the mouth And continue to let yourself relax, wind down, relax the face, the skin of your face, around the jaw, the tongue, the throat. Let your body land and drop. If you have the time, continue to rest another five or 10 minutes. Otherwise, enjoy a few more slow breaths. Thank you.